Like anything else, structure is so important, especially when you are going in with color on a painting. So let's go ahead and address this and I'll show you why an underpainting is crucial when working with color in a portrait or figure painting. So it looks like I found a really big fan of my work. So Alexa, what do you think of my painting? I don't have an opinion on that. Oh, go on, you're too kind. So painting is an emotional process. We're artists, we express ourselves. So wouldn't it be great to go into a painting with guns blazing, like a Western, going after the bad guys, splashing and, and swashbuckling our way through the canvas? But there is a better way, underpaintings. I'll show you how. A painting, especially a portrait or figure painting, is broken down into three separate parts. The first part, is the line drawing. The second part would be the values of light and dark before you go into color. And then the third part is the color itself. So if you were able to break those down separately and solve those problems separately, then I think you'll have a better way to attack the complexities of a portrait or figure painting. Yes, that's right, Mr. Schwab. I want you to sell 3,700 shares of AT&T stock, 12 shares of Staples, 18 shares of Tim America, the most important stocks in the world. That's right, I'm selling it all because I wanna put all my money in these little triangles that I use to mix my pastel paints. That's right, sell it all and go ahead and buy these little triangles. That's right, it's important. Oh, hi, how you doing? So besides underpainting, where else in life do we need structure? Undergarments are important and they give structure. <whistles> These tall majestic glass skyscrapers would not stand one moment without structure. These steel girders are welded together to create the skeleton that allows these large behemoth buildings to stand. Wow, structure is important in life, not just with painting. Let's take a look at this portrait in pastel from underpainting to completion. After the monochromatic underpainting, light glazes of pastel establish color. The subsequent layers of pastel nail the correct value as the details begin to reemerge. The colors are established to arrive at a finished pastel painting with both tight drawing and tonal structure. In conclusion, when working on something as complex as a portrait or a figure painting, the strong drawing and tonal underpainting is the perfect setup when going in with color. Wouldn't it be perfect in life that you could actually break down some of the complexities that we deal with into three separate parts that are easier and not so overwhelming? So I want to hear your thoughts. What do you feel about underpaintings? Do you like them? Do you use them? Are you thinking of using them now? Or even have you thought of using them in, let's say, airbrush or in pastel? So I really uh, hope to hear from everybody. Please like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers I get, as well as comments, helps the YouTube algorithm, pushes my videos first so I get more views, so I'm encouraged to do more. So I hope to see everybody next week. It's always a pleasure, and take care. Bye.